Hey there, guys. So I apologize for that. For some reason, it just completely ended my stream. So I'm going to redo um, basically what I've been discussing. Um, so again, I'm going to start from the beginning. I know that I was I was about 20 minutes through it, but I'm going to go back through this and sort of discuss this topic because I still want to really go through this topic and share it with you guys. So again, I had to redo the stream. So we're going to start from the beginning again and, of course, and go through this particular topic. So as always, guys, my website is bponlinefitness.com. You can check it out for all information related to online coaching, as well as my free fitness blog. You can sign up to my email newsletter as well when you go to my website, and you can check out the latest live stream on the homepage. Again, keep in mind that I do archive every live stream that I do, so you'll be able to watch this in your free time, and you can leave a comment if you have any questions about anything I discussed today. So let's go ahead and <laughs> go back into our topic that we're talking about. So what's going to be discussed today is, of course, talking about rep ranges. We're going to talk about the traditional 8 to 12 rep range, which is primarily focused on hypertrophy. And then we're going to talk about hypertrophy bond, 8 to 12 reps. Can you build muscle when we're talking about high rep ranges? Lower rep ranges for hypertrophy is 4 to 6 reps just for strength. How varying rep ranges enhances muscle growth, rep ranges in muscle fiber activation, as well as is there an ideal rep range for beginners versus advanced lifters? So that's all what we're going to discuss today. So the traditional 8 to 12 rep range. Now, when you hear about the traditional 8 to 12 rep range, this is usually really in the same umbrella or under the umbrella of hypertrophy, I should say. So the H12 rep range provides balance between mechanical tension from moderate weights and metabolic stress from higher rep ranges. So time under tension in this range, muscles experience enough time under tension, which is key for growth. Now, when we're talking about time under tension, that is how long you're going through the rep of the workout. When you're doing a bicep curl, that's how long you're going through the movement of that particular rep doing the curl. So that's what time under tension is. So keep that in mind. Moderate weight allows for the use of load heavy enough to stimulate muscle fibers without causing excessive fatigue, promoting recovery and continuous progress. The H12 rep range allows for multiple sets and sufficient total volume, which is critical for hypertrophy. Studies support this range as the most effective for muscle size gains. So again, if you're generally focusing on hypertrophy, which is, of course, muscle gain, muscle growth, then you want to focus on this particular rep range as much as possible. Now, that's not to say that there are particular, aren't particular benefits when we're talking about lower reps or higher reps, which we're going to discuss very soon. But this is the primary range that you should focus on when you are keeping hypertrophy in mind. So, again, with this particular rep range, you want to focus on moderate weights. And when we're talking about moderate weights, this is generally weights that are just challenging enough to lift, but you can still go through the form effectively. So keep in mind that moderate weights that you lift are going to be different from somebody else's. So you have to really define what moderate weight is to you. So keep that in mind. So hypertrophy beyond 8 to 12 reps. Can high reps build muscle? So high rep training involves muscular endurance, increases time under tension, which contributes to hypertrophy over time. High reps induce metabolic stress by generating more lactate leading to muscle pump, promotes the release of growth factors like IGF-1, which are key to muscle growth, activates slow twitch muscle fibers typically ignored during low rep strength training. Over time, slow twitch muscle fibers can also contribute to muscle hypertrophy. So there's a lot of things to sort of consider when we're talking about high rep ranges. And what I want to really mention when we're talking about this is the slow twitch muscle fibers. Now, this is a term you've probably not heard, but basically under certain conditions, specific muscle fibers are activated. So I don't want to confuse you with a lot of these terms, so just be, be aware that 
Slow twitch muscle fibers are usually activated when we're going into a higher rep range. When we're going into a lower rep range, usually the fast twitch muscle fibers are activated. So I know that sounds odd with the posing. You know, you would think that fast twitch would actually be activated with higher reps, but that's not actually the case. So slow twitch muscle fibers are actually going to be activated when we're going into higher reps. So these specific muscle fibers are going to be beneficial in different ways. When these muscle fibers are activated more, you're going to be focusing more on the power and the more muscular endurance aspect of things. So that's when these specific fibers are going to activate when you're going into high reps. That's not to say that this specific amount of reps is not beneficial towards hypertrophy, but you're not going to get the same benefits in the same amount of time with this rep range as you would be when you're focusing on A12 reps. So the next one we're going to talk about is lower rep ranges for hypertrophy. Again, I touched on this just a little bit, um, just talking about that just in the last slide. But basically, when we're talking about low rep ranges, usually they are associated with somebody who's focusing primarily on strength, basically lifting heavy weights and doing lower reps. So that's usually what we would define lower rep ranges under. So when it comes to hypertrophy, muscle growth, the typical recommendation, of course, often falls within the 8 to 12 rep range. But what about the lower rep ranges, specifically 4 to 6 reps? Are these reps strictly for building strength, or can they play a role in hypertrophy as well? The answer is nuanced. While 4 to 6 reps are generally associated with strength training, they can also contribute to muscle growth under certain conditions. So in short, 4 to 6 reps aren't just for strength. They can be powerful tools or powerful tool for muscle growth as well. So this is really nuanced depending on what you're focusing on. It's not to say that the lower rep ranges wouldn't be beneficial for hypertrophy. It's just that it would take a more extended period of time to see the results when you're doing lower rep ranges, you know, focusing on a goal of hypertrophy versus if you're focusing on strength. Whereas when we're talking about strength training, you're going to be focusing on this lower rep range and you're going to be lifting heavier weights. So just keep in mind, again, it's a nuanced approach if you are wanting to do lower reps and then still focusing on hypertrophy, the results won't happen as efficiently when you're focusing on this specific rep range. So keep that in mind. So how varying rep ranges enhances muscle growth. So a lot of times with my clients, I do have them go through various different rep ranges, of course, depending on their goal. And the reason being is that this helps to prevent the muscles from adapting. So we need to constantly challenge the muscles in order to help, you know, add to that muscle growth in order for new muscle fibers to be grown, to tear those old muscle fibers and build those new ones. So there's a various different things to keep in mind. And again, this is sort of breaking down the different rep ranges. Like I mentioned, low reps, you're focusing on strength. Moderate reps are focusing primarily on hypertrophy, and high reps are focusing more on power and endurance. So low reps, four to six, is targeting fast twitch muscle fibers. Again, the fast twitch fibers are activated under certain conditions. So this is responsible for strength and power, so keep that in mind. Moderate reps, eight to 12, optimizes muscle hypertrophy by balancing load and volume. High reps, 12 to 15 plus reps, focuses on endurance. And of course, we're activating those slow twitch muscle fibers, increasing that metabolic stress. So keep that in mind when we're talking about this specific rep range as well. So again, low reps, we're focusing more on endurance. Moderate reps, we're focusing more on, excuse me, low reps, we're focusing Yes, that is more we're focusing more on strength, I should say, for low reps. Scratch that. On low reps, we're focusing more on strength. Moderate reps, we're focusing more on hypertrophy. And high reps, we're focusing on power and endurance. So keep that in mind. So rep ranges for muscle fiber activation. Low rep ranges help to target fast switch muscle fibers. Again, we're bringing that up again, which help to build max strength for heavier lifts. 
moderate reps focusing on a mix of slow and fast twitch muscle fibers. So that's where we're getting that hypertrophy. Both of these fibers are activated when we are focusing on that moderate rep range. High reps primarily activates the slow twitch fibers, which focus on building the stamina and increasing workout volume. So I hope that sort of clearly gives you an idea on these rep ranges a little bit better. And I hope that you find this a little bit valuable and I hope that it's something that you can sort of really take with you and sort of understand a little bit better. I feel like this is a topic that really is not fully known to people and they don't really understand that rep ranges do play a key factor in your specific workout goals. So really keep this in mind, you know, depending on your particular goal, that this makes a difference. Even if we're not focusing on hyper hypertrophy, we can still keep in mind that, you know, if I want to focus on endurance, I need to focus on, you know, doing high reps. If I'm focusing on strength, then I need to focus on lower reps. So that's something to be aware of. So is there an ideal rep range for beginners versus advanced lifters? So this is another topic to sort of keep into consideration depending on, you know, how often you lift or, you know, if you are a very experienced lifter, I should say. So beginners should focus on eight to 12 reps that build a foundation and learn proper form and technique, build initial strength and muscle endurance. The reason why beginners should focus primarily on the 8 to 12 rep range is because you're activating both muscle fibers. You're getting the best of both. So you're building not only muscle, but strength at the same time. Hypertrophy is doing both of those things. We're focusing a little bit on strength because we're activating those muscle fibers, those slow twitch and the fast twitch. We're activating those muscle fibers all at once or, you know, both of those are getting activated on, you know, that specific rep range. So keep that in mind. Advanced lifters should focus on cycling between 1 to 5 and 6 to 12 or more reps. This helps to target different muscle fibers for balanced growth, as well as prevent plateaus with various varied training stimulus. So like I mentioned with my clients, usually their rep range varies. This is to prevent that you know, adaptation. And this is also to prevent, you know, any plateaus and just to help to, you know, target dis different muscle fibers a little bit more, whether we're focusing more on slow twitch or fast twitch, more muscle fibers are going to be activated when we're talking about, you know, these specific rep ranges, whether they're one to five or six to 12. So beginner beginners benefit from consistent moderate rep ranges whereas advanced lifters should vary rep ranges to optimize growth and avoid plateaus. So that's something to keep in mind. When you're getting started, you just are building a habit, you're building a routine. You just need to be focusing on a balanced approach to your rep ranges. If you're advanced, if you've been lifting for an extended period of time, you need to vary your rep ranges in order to prevent that you know, adaption and to help to optimize that muscle growth or work constantly activating both fast twitch and slow twitch muscle fibers. So a sample workout split of hypertrophy, this is just to give you an idea. You would do, this is just one particular day. So say for example, your workout split is chest and triceps. You would do a bench press, four reps, six, or excuse me, four sets, six to eight reps, incline dumbbell press, three sets, eight to 10 reps, chest flies, three sets, 10 to 12 reps, Tricep pushdowns, four reps, eight to 10 reps, or excuse me, four sets, eight to 10 reps. Overhead tricep extension, three sets, 10 to 12 reps. Again, this is more focusing on a little bit of hypertrophy. These are just example rep ranges. A lot of times too with my clients, their rep ranges will stay pretty consistent. And the reason being so that everything is sort of uniform and they know where to stay. Usually I keep the rep range at usually that eight to 10 sort of rep range or eight to 12 usually is what I'll focus on when it comes to clients who are focusing on a hypertrophy. But this is just showing you a varying rep range. You're seeing a lot of different, you know, changes in specific workouts. And this is going to depend too, of course, on your fitness level, what you can lift, you know, what weights you're lifting, 
there's a lot of things to keep in mind when we're looking at this sample workout. So, you know, you may not adequately be able to lift a certain amount of weight, you know, doing a specific amount of reps, or you may not, you know, be doing, can't do, you know, up to four sets. So keep in mind your fitness level is what I'm trying to say here is that it's going to vary depending on your fitness level and sort of the weight that you're lifting. So again, this is just an example of a sample workout split focusing on chest and triceps. So that was the last point I really wanted to discuss there. But again, guys, that's all I have for you today. I really appreciate everything, all of your support and um, just the positive messages I've gotten from everything that I've been doing with online coaching. I really enjoy working with my clients. That's one of my favorite parts is to be able to check in with my clients and to make sure that they're, you know, where they need to be. Um, so again, my main focus with these live streams is to really help to inform you a little bit better. Even if you're not a client of mine, I still really enjoy giving knowledge, general knowledge on various things related to fitness and exercise, as well as talking or touching a little bit on nutrition and recovery as well. So I just really enjoy sharing these topics with you guys to give you guys a little bit more insight on, you know, fitness. And if you're really interested in trying to build a fitness routine and trying to get adjusted to a routine that works for you. So that's why I do these, because I really want to talk about these topics, especially topics that people are not aware of as often like when we're talking about the muscle fibers and when we're talking about rep ranges, some people may not be aware that it's best to stay within a certain rep range when we're focusing on specific goals. And that's the main reason why I want to talk about these topics is to help to give knowledge to anybody who may not be aware of that. And if you're trying to build a fitness routine and you're trying to get adjusted to a new habit, a healthier habit when it comes to exercise, this is something that you can be aware of. So again, guys, thank you for watching. You can visit my website at bponlinefitness.com. Ton of information related to online coaching, free fitness blog. You can sign up to my email list. I send out a new newsletter each day, and you'll be notified of any live streams I may do throughout the week or of any new promotions I have with online coaching. Right now, I am offering 30% off for a limited time. So if you're interested in learning more about on the online coaching, feel free to leave a comment. Um, this video of course if you missed it live you can watch it pre-recorded i will have it uploaded to youtube as well as on my home page of my website so keep in mind that i do cycle out uh, live streams on my home page so the latest live stream will always be on the home page and then as a new one comes up i do cycle a new live stream on there but if you do miss this live stream it will be archived to youtube so you can watch it there so thank you guys once again for taking the time to watch this live stream. I really appreciate your patience. I apologize for the live stream cutting at that one point, but I'm glad that we were able to get through this topic and really dive deep into this topic of rep ranges. I will have another live stream next Wednesday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time that I will be posting the event to for you to RSVP to. So thank you guys again, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you guys next Wednesday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time on our next live stream. So thank you guys once again.